Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. I am currently on my city world and we haven't actually been on this one in ages to be honest. Um, but this is where I come to sort of build all my city creations and then make tutorials from those builds. So a uh, little bit of backstory to this build today. Well I've always wanted to visit Japan but uh, I'm extremely broke, <laughs> put it bluntly. So I decided to bring Japan to Minecraft. So here we have a little Japanese scene which is in a chunk sort of build format. So we have this little bridge here that takes you across this nice little um, stream that runs parallel to the main road and then parallel to this street just here. Now upon this street we have ourselves a cherry blossom tree with uh, all of the sort of uh, flowers going into the into the stream below where you have the uh, koi fish. Of course we don't have koi fish in Minecraft so we've used some carp just to represent it there. We go across the bridge and we have ourselves this nice little lamppost, a little cat which is so cute and obviously very uh, sort of, yeah, help me out to you too, um, but very cute and adds like a whole new sort of perspective to this entire build. We have a little family house and again the cat's there because you can imagine the cat is sort of a resident there. And then besides it we have this little sort of ramen um, place so we actually do have the sort of sign up here for, kind of looks like um, rice cakes or something just on there so uh, yeah it's a really really I'd say quaint build this is quite a quaint build it's quite cute and um, very cozy but I wanted to give that Japanese style to it because like I said I've always wanted to visit Japan and uh, at the moment it's not feasible so there's a cheaper option Minecraft <laughs> so let's get some materials and get started with today's tutorial for step one you're gonna want to take yourself some polished dorite or something that you can distinguish as your marking material. And what I mean by, well, <laughs> let me let me say that again. What I mean by marking material is uh, something that you can sort of use to border your landscape here. So the the sort of piece we're using, the, the blank canvas we're using for today's project. So it's going to be in this square just here. Now this square here is 16 by 16 because that is a Minecraft chunk. So if we turn around here. How I've counted it is 16 blocks starting from this block along the corridor and then when you get to either one of these ends I recommend starting from the same one you, you sort of first counted on so you can again use this as number one and then go upwards to the 16 as well so it's going to be 16 blocks along this way and the exact same 16 blocks along this way counting the same blocks as before and then once that's ready to go we are now ready to move on to the inside of it. So to get started we will take ourselves some mossy cobblestone, some normal cobblestone, some mossy cobblestone stairs and of course the normal ones too, some jungle stairs and jungle slabs, jungle fences, a chain and of course some water as well. Now then let's go ahead and build in ourselves the stream bank. So we want to go ahead and firstly start by I'm gonna go this corner down here. Now if you want to determine where your bridge is gonna be I'm starting with the longest sort of side of the stream and my bridge is going to end up up here. So say if you wanted to start like, you know, with your bridge over here, this is where your longest part will start. All right, let's go for it. So I'm going to go with a uh, mossy cobblestone first, a normal, mossy, normal, mossy, two normal, mossy, two normal, mossy, two normal again, and ending on a mossy. Then I'm going to dig out myself a little trench worth two layers like so. I built this on a super flat world with those like four layers so hopefully you guys can do this too. There we are. And now we want to line up our stairs with the kind of opposite block. So this one will have a normal cobblestone, these two will have normal well mossy cobblestone and then so on and so forth. Just going an entire way along to the other side. And now we're going to dig out ourselves a four block sort of area one two three four and this will determine the length of our sorry the width of our stream just here and also the length because you're going to go from one side to the other just like so now i will let you on a little secret i've built this bridge about three times already today because i messed up every single time <laughs> this time it won't be happening but um yeah i refilmed it because i was just not happy with the way it was coming out ah <laughs> oh. I'm just going to fill in, oh no actually we'll leave that, because what we're going to do next is we're going to take our cobblestone and we're going to line the floor of this entire sort of stream to be cobble, 
because we want the koi to have like a really nice house. So <laughs> let's go ahead and just knock out all the dirt down here and replace it with your cobble. If you wanted to use yourself some gravel, then feel free. But I think the cobble matches up with the rest of the cobble here and kind of just all looks good. Oh, let's just cover up the void there. We don't want any fish to fall just into the abyss. And there we go, like so. Now then, for the opposite side, we need to go ahead and build in ourselves two layers again. So we can then verge ourselves back up with our stairs. So, we're going to go for, uh, down this end, I'm going to start with a mossy. I'm going to go for two normal, a mossy, normal, mossy, two normal, mossy. I'm going to go with a normal, mossy, two normal, and end on a mossy down there. Now above this, I'm going to switch it up slightly, just to be like my original one. So I'm going to go with a normal cobble, mossy, two normal, mossy, one normal, mossy, two normal, mossy, two normal, mossy, uh, oops, actually two mossy, and then I'm going to do a normal down here, like so. Yeah, that actually looks good. Yeah, not, not too bad, not too bad at all. And now as you can see down here, there's little remnants of my mistakes before, <laughs> but um, what I've done is I've included the border material to kind of line up here. Now if you're building this on a world where you're going to incorporate this into your city, then I wouldn't worry about your border kind of showing through the stream there. You can obviously use whatever material you're using for your city. But for those, oh, start that again. For those of us building a chunk sort of build here, you're going to want to pick lock your border material and just fill in the six dirt that should be along there, just like so. There we are. I'll grab my material back, and look at that. That's looking good. So now you can take yourself your water, and you can go to the bottom step here, and you can kind of stream this all the way along on both sides, leveling it the whole way. I missed a little bit. And then finish it up in the middle here, just to make sure the entire stream is going to be entirely flat, so there's no current to the water. If we did have a current to the water, then all the fish would be like flowing down one end, and it just look a little bit messy. So we want it to be nice and calm, and nice and tranquil. Looking good. Now we can take ourselves our jungle fences, and we'll place one here, leaving a space and doing another one. Then we're going to leave ourselves a gap of two, one, two, and we build another one here. Then we'll go space, 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 and space, like so. Now the other side, we're going to do the exact same thing, so we can actually look at this side and do that. So one, two, three, four, five, then we leave the gap of two, we do one and one, just like so. Sweet. Now this gap of two insinuates where we're going to build the bridge. So we take ourselves the jungle stairs, we flip them upside down against the posts but below, and we do four like so. And we do it the exact same on the opposite side. And now we can go ahead and level these across with slabs. Oh, come on, there we go. Like this. And that will make sure the bridge is connected on both sides. Then we'll take ourselves some chains and we'll go ahead and join the two together that have a one block space. The two in the middle, leave them nice and plain. So let's do this all the way around, here as well. Up to there, and then one block, oh, one on its own over there, like so. As for the bridge, you can take your jungle fence and just match it up on both sides for like a railing, like so. Then no one will fall in the stream, because I know I would. <laughs> but there we go, that looks awesome. Very well done guys, that is step one completed. Let's get some new materials and get finishing up the stream and working on the back area. Alright, so we'll now take ourselves some pink carpet, a lily pad, some cods, which are of course going to be ourselves some carp, some jungle trapdoors, lanterns, stone, andesite, a grass block. Now if you're on a super flat like I am, you're not going to need this, but um, for those that aren't, I recommend a grass block. And of course a composter as well. Okay then. So let's finish up the little stream just up here firstly. We don't want to get too carried away and then, uh, you know, forget some stuff up here. So we want to actually kind of border the, the bridge a little bit. So we'll take four trapdoors along its sort of edge and then fold these down. Now I'm not really sure what these are supposed to be, but I'm going to say they're going to be like buoyancies. Uh, not in case the bridge sort of falls in. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. Um, but um, they look like sort of, I don't know, uh, maybe, maybe it's like there was a boat down here say like a little sort of vessel of some sort uh it's kind of stops it from sort of careering into the bridge if that makes any sense 
it, I could be totally wrong, but um, we're just going to pretend. <laughs> like so. So let's dig ourselves some lanterns and we'll do them on the second fence in on both sides of the bridge. Like that. Now we'll take ourselves some carpet. We'll do one in the centre here, so on the second sort of trapdoor. And we'll do one down here on the far, the furthest away trapdoor. Place a lily pad in between them. Don't worry about the direction of the lily pad. Every time you place it, it sort of goes any which way it wants. Mine's going to go that way for some reason, so that's fine. And then we're going to switch ourselves round to be on the longer side of the stream up here. Now it's a little bit difficult to get underneath the bridge to add in some detail, but you can add in a little bit of sort of sakura leaves down here, so you can just add in, you know, a couple bits of carpet every now and again, just around like so. So that looks good. Then we'll stick ourselves a lily pad just a space away from this one. So I'm going to do it here, from that trapdoor. I'm going to go up to this side over here. I'm going to go to my second post in, just up here. I'm talking about singular posts, so this one and this one. I'm going to go down, and just next to the stair I'm going to do one. Over here I'm going to place myself one, this full block of border, and the second full block of border right against the edge there. And then finally I'm going to stick one in line with this pillar, but uh, sorry this fence post but right down this end and in line with that uh, stair there nice one as for our sakura leaves we'll do one just here one below as well one diagonally off one next to the lily pad here one kind of in front of this lily pad over here uh, one besides the yeah lily pad just up there and then one up from it as well we don't want to go to town with this, but we do want to make sure it looks quite detailed. And the last thing to do is to add in yourself some cod. So, there is a bit of a problem. They do like to bounce around, and we need to kind of kick him in the water. There we go. Eventually he'll go in. <laughs> um, and they will, a warning for you guys, is they will sort of parkour themselves out. They like to go up the stairs and then jump out, so don't worry about that. They do get themselves back in, so it's all good. There you go. See? <laughs> They're acrobatic fish, so we gotta let them off. I wouldn't place too many of these, I'd place about nine, say, as your cap. Um, but uh, yeah, when they're in there, they swim up and down and look really, really cool. So, that's all good to go. Now we can come on down to this end and build the sort of street uh, that goes up this way. So against the cobble of the bridge, we're gonna add in ourselves some stone, and it's gonna be fence post to fence post. Like so. I'm actually gonna stick myself a pink carpet here. And then I'm going to do myself stone from this end, going up to that block just there, so past the one before it. I'm going to add in a pink carpet on that one as well. I'm going to add in another layer of my stone here, so we now have ourselves two. And then I'm going to go ahead and build myself three and a site just here, and then a composter up this side in the floor. Now that's supposed to represent like a, a pet feeding dish or something. So like maybe you can put some water in there and it'll be for the cat that sits next to it. So that's uh, in there like so. We'll take ourselves some more andesite along here for the three. Leave a space and then place yourself a pink carpet here. Now we're going to go ahead and build ourselves. So we have that one and then we'll go actually just right to the end. Yeah, pretty simple. Oh, a fish has escaped. Come on, get back in. Ah, oh, no, he's not. he's going too far. You're gonna die! No! No! Come on! <laughs> End the water! Oh, you are lucky. God, he was playing with death right there. Whew. All right, let's back to back to business anyway. So stone <laughs> goes along here for two layers, so two sort of rows like this, and this is our major path sort of detailing material. That looks good. We'll leave a cap of three here between the carpet. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna do ourselves another one. And this one will come diagonally down for one as well. Now then up this end over here, spinning back around this way, I'm going to add in myself going up one, two, and on three, adding in one more there. God, they really like to play with death, don't they? <laughs> Chance themselves. And then we'll stick another one finally just down this end over here on the andesite. And that should be all the Sakura leaves. Is it Sakura? hope I'm saying that right. But um, around the pathway, just like so. Lovely. Okay, I think we're ready to get some more materials. So now to start to build the street, we're going to take some nether brick wall, some acacia fences, a hopper, an acacia trapdoor, a lantern, some dark oak trapdoors, 
some grass, some moss carpet, and a dark stone. Dark stone? Dark stone? A dark oak stair. Where did I read stone? <laughs> oh my word, okay. Right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and firstly build our lamppost. We're going to do it in front of the chain, just so that our nether brick fence, uh, nether brick wall, kind of doesn't look like it's connected to the, the fence here. We don't really want it to sort of stand right next to it because it just looks a bit strange. So we're going to do it next to the chain. As it's on its side, it looks much better. We'll build up an acacia fence here, and then we'll stick a hopper on top of that one like so. I recommend standing on the lantern for this next part because it gets a little bit tricky. You might want to stick yourself a dark oak stair on top of this hopper, just like so. So it's a bit awkward. You may need to sort of place one to stand on here, then there like so, so you can crouch or shift click to place it. And then you want to stick yourself a dark oak trapdoor on top. The reason being is we're going to actually crouch again. So I'm going to stand on this fence post for this and place ourselves a lantern that's going to hang down from the trapdoor above. Very complicated. And then we're gonna flip up ourselves some acacia trapdoors with the handles facing upwards all around the lantern like this. And there we have a, a little sort of lamppost. Looks really cute. We'll take some grass here. We'll take grass this side and moss this side. Then we're gonna come on down to the other end. We'll stick ourselves a piece of moss here. Grass, moss again. And then we'll do our stair just here next to the moss. And that should leave a gap of two on this end between the other lot of moss. And that's where we're going to add in our secure, uh, so, sorry, like a cherry blossom tree kind of overhanging the water. Oh my word, fish, get back in the water. Goodness me. <laughs> right. Uh, is that all materials here? I think it is. Let's get some more. Okay, guys. So now we're on to the major section in this tutorial. It is, of course, that cherry blossom. Now, it's the part I was really looking forward to showing you how to build. Um, but uh, not the part I was looking forward to teaching because <laughs> it's going to be difficult but well, fish you are way too far away oh no now we're going to have to build a memorial <laughs> okay let's take ourselves some spruce wood some dark oak fences some pink wool a pink stained glass pane pink stained glass a dark oak slab a spruce slab a spruce sign and a cauldron as well and let's just quickly make a little little shrine over here for the fish. Oh, fish, why? Why would you do such a thing? Oh my word. <laughs> right then, let's go back on to this side over here. We want to stick ourselves a block of spruce wood and one on top of the stair. And then one temporarily here so you can place one above it diagonally again. So three in a row, like a step ladder. We'll then do ourselves a slab up this end. We'll stick ourselves a dark oak fence here. And then we're going to do ourselves a dark oak fence, I believe, coming off this side of the uh, the wood just here. I will have to double check that in a moment, but I think so. On this side over here, we will start to build some detail. We're going to go ahead and stick ourselves some pink wall here and two forward, like this. That looks good. Then we'll do ourselves two backwards, so they kind of connect to the uh, the wall on the side there. Uh, the fence does even, like so. Then we'll build one, two, three to the right this side. And that's where I'm going to add in our last wood just in there. I'll do myself a pink wall behind that one. I'm going to do myself my first glass block next to the wood like so. I'm going to come forward and place one block of wall just here with a pink stained glass pane on it. Another one here and another one around the corner. That one actually connects to the fence, but that uh, that is supposed to happen, so that's all good. <laughs> Looks quite good, actually. Okay, the next thing to do is to go to the next layer up, so this three back here. I'm actually going to build it up to four blocks this way, like so. Adding in a block here, and adding in another one on this side, like so. I'm going to stick myself another block in here. A... Uh, what do you call them? Pain up on this side. Ah, yeah, they are a pain. Goodness me. <laughs> and then we want to come down to this side over here, taking another two back there. So it's kind of showing showing on this side, like so. I'm going to stick myself a temporary block to build one to the left and knock out the temp. And then I'm going to build myself one, two this way, like so, adding in a pain just here. 
Then I'm going to stick myself a block of one, two, three, and maybe four blocks of pink wool on this side. And now I'm going to flip myself back around to the other side. That's some good progress already. That's good. So over on this one, on the fence you can add in another one, and then one here. Pain here, here, and then we're going to do ourselves a, I think there's glass block here, you know, but I just want to check. It's a bit confusing on the, on the, like, on the photos I have. Built in a very confusing way. You know what, I'm going to do another pink wall there, I'm going to place a glass block there, like so. Then I take some wool here, and over it like so, for one. Actually, I'm going to move that forward, so I'm going to place one, and then pink wall there. Yeah, like so. So there's two kind of showing up on this side. Yeah, actually, that looks better. Yep. All right, good. Good, good, good. We can always change stuff if necessary, so that's not a problem. I'm going to knock out our middle block now. I'm going to take myself another block of pink wall there. Three across the glass there. One in the middle here. Behind this, I'm also going to build up for three. So for two layers of three. Uh, glass pane in there and one here. I'm going to stick myself another pink wall up here with one behind it. Um, then I may stick myself... Uh, let's do ourselves a couple just out and up from the glass there. Just two for now. Like so. And then we'll stick a glass block there. Like that. That is lovely. So now coming around to the other side. So on this front side... We'll finish up this area so we'll take ourselves another glass pane in the middle here then we'll do ourselves two wall that way and two that way and then i'm going to go two behind it so above this glass pane like that looking good one more block in there like so leaving that gap empty that is fine I, there might be a glass block up there so let's just go ahead and add that in why not remember to stick yourself pink wall behind the glass blocks just so they don't sort of show through that looks awesome so far it's kind of looking like a bonsai to be honest with the base there but that looks awesome and then we'll stick ourselves another one here and we'll go up for two here in the middle a glass pane will go here and then we'll do ourselves three three and three above like this sweet then we'll go for one block here and another one in that little space and now if we flip ourselves around kind of the side over here we have this sort of three here which is going to need to be extended for another three to add in one block in the middle and one out the side not the back the side then we'll do a pane down from it which is obviously going to be up from the glass then we'll do two white wool white wool pink wool even in there blimey Lewis and then we'll go for another one here and then we'll go for one here. We'll go for two in here, like so. Uh, let's just check. Let's just check. It's looking good. Yep. Go do another one here, like this. And then I can come around to this side and sort of correct my mistakes if I've made some. Okay, okay, okay. Looking good. I'm going to do a glass block in this one, like so. Yep. I'm going to do myself a pink wall here. Pink wall up here. Making that one another one, and oops, pink wall there like so. So the tree is a little bit chubby around the back, but um, as you know, there's buildings back here, so it doesn't really need to worry about that. Uh, that's all looking fine for now. Is there anything below here? That is one thing I would like to check. Maybe I'll have to come back to that in a moment. That's fine. So back up the top, we've got this section looking awesome so far. We'll add in another glass block here. We'll do ourselves a pink wall here. One behind the pink wall. Uh, two in this gap here, so it kind of curves around the corner there. We'll bring this one back for another one. This one for two, adding in a pane here. This one for three. Uh, then we'll do one, two, three. Mm. Yeah, three is fine actually, like so. And then we'll do another pink wall in there like that. So that is all closed up around it now. We just need to sort it out to make it look better. From this side, it looks pretty cool. Fish! Get back in, look, there's a grave. Maybe he's paying respects, who knows. Right, and then at the very top, to check it all out, we're going to come to this end. Face this way. Have all this looking good, this one. I'm going to add another block here. 
and I could check actually that down down that side. That's all looking awesome to be honest. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's great. Oh, are you kidding me? They must love that area. Ah, oh, right. Yep, brilliant. Okay, I'll go double check this and then we can move on to the next bit. Okay, so the tree is looking awesome. All I'm going to do is come down to the side where my buildings are going to be. And I'm going to add in myself a glass pane just here. We already have that glass block there, which is looking great. We've got that one there like so, and that one there like so. So everything here is pretty good. I'm just going to knock out that block in there. And then we're all good to go for the rest of it. I know it looks a little bit strange on this side. Kind of looks quite uh, bubbly, I guess you could say. But uh, no, that's actually how I built my original one. So, wonderful. We've done a really good job. Epic. I thought that was going to be a lot harder, to be honest. But that is really relieving. It's actually not too bad. So, the next thing to do is to come down to this side. We're adding ourselves a cauldron here. There will be a block underneath of it, so bear that in mind. Then we'll do ourselves a slab just next to it. A space away, another slab here. And then we'll add ourselves spruce signs on these. The little sort of bar stools like so. Lovely. Okay then. Um, whilst we're here, you know what we can actually do? Is we can build ourselves a little sort of ramen bar. By adding in ourselves just some um, of these slabs to make blocks. So it saves us having to grab a number of material. If we go for next to the first seat. Along. And then just one block past the first, the last seat like so. So four blocks in total. Looks good. We can always grab another one if necessary, but I think that is everything in there like so. So let's go ahead and build some buildings. Let's take ourselves some cracked deep slate bricks, some dark oak wood, some spruce trap doors, some red banners, flower pots, some stripped oak wood, some blackstone stairs, some polished blackstone brick stairs, and a blast furnace as well. Coming down to this end over here and behind the cauldron, we will firstly take ourselves some dark oak wood going upwards to four blocks in height. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, just like so. Now we're going to go ahead and line kind of the top of the bar here and just out for another block with our spruce trap doors. So we'll go to the second to top block, so here, so the third block up. On the top of the third block here, place yourself a trap door. Now crouch click and place a couple more of these until you're the block past the uh, the bar just here. So five of these in total. Now I know they'll be a little bit different, so you can actually place hopefully all of them the same way. You may have to place them in the block to get them all the same way. Like that, oh no. Okay, <laughs> I don't think it was to play, but that's fine. If, uh, if you have a little bit of an OCD about it like I do, Maybe you can figure out a way of just changing that so that all the, the little rivets in there are all facing the exact same way. Ah, that is a pain. But hopefully, hopefully you can get that sorted out. Let's take some more dark oak wood up this side for three. And then we'll do ourselves a blast furnace facing forward towards the tree like so. Lovely. Now we can take ourselves the dark oak wood above these. So above all of the trapdoors. You may have to obviously shift click. I recommend standing on the blast furnace for this, like this, and that looks really good. Now we'll take ourselves another one here, and then we'll do two up uh, with our stripped oak wood, and then we'll do two more dark oak up here. Then I'm going to stick myself a temporary block here to make my woods go the same way above with the oak, and that is next to the spruce, uh, the dark oak, sorry. And then I'm going to take myself one, two, three just along here. And I'm going to go two up again, just here, but I'm going to make sure they're facing the same way, like that. And now I want to drop this down to the other side, so I'll do myself uh, dark oak for two forward. And then I'm going to do two up with my stripped oak wood from the back. And then two more dark oak wood going up the side of the oak, just like so. Now I'm going to come to the front of the building, and I'm going to build in myself kind of the, uh, the start of the house, the very front of the house up here. So over on this side, I'm going to build two more stripped oak wood. And then I'm going to stick myself a polished blackstone brick stair just here. And one on the very top of my spruce above, like that. Ah, uh, dark oak. Ah, not spruce. And then down on this side, I'm going to stick myself dark oak wood here for one, two, three, four, and five just there. Then I'll do two more stripped oak wood here. 
and there's going to be one above the door but I want this to be the same direction so I'll place another one temporary to place it in there and then I'll build two up on this side as well leaving a six block gap for my window now then this will all be covered up afterwards so don't worry about that for now though as we have the materials available we can just go ahead and build sort of the roof slats with uh, our stairs so we'll take ourselves blackstone um, stairs just like so and then at the very top up here again on the block you can stick yourselves a, another one just like so then we'll stick one temporary here to place one forward with our brick and then over here we'll do the same with our blackstone just like so awesome so now these are kind of coming out forward and all is well with there and then back in in this little gap of window again we can place temporary to place one and then we'll do two brick to its right like so that looks good yeah awesome so that's all ready to go when we add in all the stairs and the slabs and everything like that later perfect for now let's head back to this side over here and add in ourselves some cups for our little ramen bar so we're going to take ourselves one here and a space away one again you can take yourself the cracked deep state bricks and build these in the floor under the seats and under the cauldron because obviously the cauldron has got quite a bit of grass showing underneath it so we want to get rid of that so let's just go ahead build all that in like so and then build this block in as well just here that will have something underneath of it it's actually going to be a barrel there but um, we'll still place a block just to you know finish up everything lovely yeah, this is starting to look really good it's starting to come together nicely now on the front of this bar you can actually add in yourself four red banners just along here just to add a little bit more of that traditional sort of style to the whole thing which looks really lovely and you can add in a flower pot on this end for a little sort of bonsai tree that will add outside of this house lovely yes that is looking awesome uh, I'm just going to flip my wood this way around up here and then we'll grab ourselves some more materials so you now want to grab yourselves a lever some red carpet an iron trap door another flower pot some barrels some more spruce trap doors a tripwire hook some lanterns and acacia trap doors as well let's go to the back of the ramen bar and we want to stick ourselves a um, a lever in here now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move my blast furnace forward just by a block so it's going to be in line with this stair. Now we're going to have to pick block that again so let's place the lever down, move this forward just so it's facing here like so. Let's grab our lever back, let's come behind this and this is the only reason we've moved the blast furnace is so we can actually add in our lever into the surroundings and not on the edge of the border. So we'll add it on the back of the blast zone furnace like so and then blast stone, for what am I on today? And then we'll stick an iron trap door on the front and then we just flip the lever and that will fold down for like an air conditioning unit like so now trust me that will look really good once it's all in there like you know how it's supposed to be but for now it looks a little bit strange now what we do next is we grab ourselves some blackstone stairs just here from the uh, iron trap door and we grab ourselves some polished blackstone brick stairs from our lever now we'll come back down to the sort of ramen bar and we're going to want to, head, want to go ahead and sort of place these along the top of the bar over here. So we'll go with starting a... Uh, actually, let's go this end and start with blackstone. Then we'll do ourselves brick. Blackstone again. Uh, and then two brick. And then a blackstone up this end. Like so. And then we can take ourselves two rows of red carpet. Over to that blast furnace there. Above the lever. And then back along this way closing up the entire roof of this area like so and it also matches up to the pink there it looks really cool there you go that really nice like really adds a nice shadow to the whole thing we'll add in a lantern on this uh, just here and a tripwire hook for the cauldron just here and then we'll add in ourselves two strips uh, sorry <laughs> spruce trap doors even oh my god uh, to the bar like so just to fold them up and make it look a bit more textured as well and then we can add in ourselves a barrel just here on its side and then one forward so it looks like a keg and then we can stick ourselves a flower pot on top of the barrel over here so shift or crouch click for that one just there finally before we get rid of any of these materials so we don't have to come back to them again we want to stick ourselves a barrel just here 
outside the front of the house, next to the cauldron and the pink carpet. Sweet. Then we'll take acacia trapdoors, we'll go into the windows of the house over here. We want to flip these upwards so that uh, they're going to be facing forwards, so the more forward area of the block here. Handles facing forwards, and then on these top ones, placing them in here. Shift for the middle one, like so, or, sh or crouch click. And there you are. And they'll be on the most forward bit of the block. As for these top ones, you do the exact same thing. So handles facing upwards, and most forward part of the block, just up there. You're not going to see these handles because we add in our, like, like a nice layer of slabs in here. So they're all going to be covered up. In the actual house, you can add in yourself a couple lanterns. So we'll do one just above the door frame and then one in front of the middle of the window, like so. Okay, let's grab some more bits. Now let's take some bowls, some item frames, blackstone slabs, polished blackstone brick slabs, an acacia door, a dark oak fence gate, a jungle slab, a crafting table, and some dark oak planks as well. Okay, so we're gonna get the majority of the house done. Let's come up to the roof firstly. Let's add in ourselves a blackstone slab just under the stair above. Another one here. We'll do ourselves a brick slab just here. Two more blackstone in front of the rest of the windows. A brick here and a blackstone on that side. Now above here, we're going to add in ourselves a block of blackstone brick and a slab on top. And here, blackstone with a slab on top as well. Looking cool. It looks like a temple almost. It's pretty cool. Down here we'll add in ourselves a blackstone brick slab, two blackstone and two brick. And then in front we'll do two brick here, one blackstone, one brick, one, two, three blackstone on this side above the door frame. And that starts to really look good now. Now on the inside of this area, knock out all the grass and replace it with dark oak planks. Add in your acacia door just here, a dark oak fence gate open just here for kind of holding where the cat's going to be. And then we'll stick ourselves some item frames down here on the ramen bar with bowls facing the people sat there, just like so. Now we can take ourselves a jungle slab just here and one up a space away and a crafting table in the center. Lovely. That is the house completed. Now it's just a couple little details we need to grab to finish off this entire build. Okay, so we're on the final stages of this build here. Let's take a dark oak sapling, a cat, some raw cod, and we're gonna need to build this banner here. It is the one that looks like a rice bowl. So we're gonna take ourselves a light gray banner, some red, brown, light gray, and some white dye as well. Firstly, let's place our materials. So let's go with a dark oak sapling just here. We wanna place a cat just on this block here it's probably going to run away, so I'll have to tame it very, very quickly. Ooh, oh, lovely. <laughs> and then we push it into the little gap just down here. And the cat will look nice and cute sat there. Especially with the hearts above it. Pretty cool. So, for this banner, we're going to come to the loom. We're going to open up the loom. And we're going to need to make ourselves quite a complex banner here. Light grey banner goes in. We want to stick our brown dye in firstly. We want to find a brown Ben Sinister. The bend sinisters are usually the ones that are kind of like at an angle. So this one just here. So it's a diagonal from the bottom left to the top right. That's going to be for our chopsticks. We'll take the brown dye out and we'll place ourselves the light grey dye in. And we're looking for a grey satire. So they're, they're sort of... Not that. <laughs> I think it may be... It may take me a second to find. No. There it is. So the saltire is like the sort of X. So if you're trying to build the Scottish flag um, as sort of shown just here, then it would be like an X across the banner. We'll take that out. We're sticking ourselves some white dye to get a roundel, which is gonna be, of course, the circle. Take that out and that is gonna be for our rice. We put it back in. We take our white dye out and we put the red in. And we're gonna look for a red purface inverted. So it's gonna be one of these sort of blocks. Sorry, one of these, uh, chubbier ones down here there you go red purpose inverted just like so place the banner back in take the red dye out put your light gray back in and we're looking for a borgia indented which i don't think is this one 
No, that's Borgia, but it's not the indented one. The indented is... So the indented is actually a banner pattern. So if you want to grab that, replace it with your Dark Oak Sapling. Come back to the banner. Place your banner back in the loom. Your light grey back in the loom as well. And then your banner pattern in as well. Then that will give you the... Well, you actually don't need to place it in Link Creative. But um, it's this thing just here. Looks like a bunch of like wiggly sort of zigzaggy things like that <laughs> and it kind of looks like um there's a rice sort of monster with two little prongs sticking out of the water that like red water maybe some blood or something but um there we go we need that anyways <laughs> then we'll take ourselves a gray um base vest which is just going to be a simple one of these like so we take that out and then we have ourselves a little rice bowl which is going to look awesome hanging down from the sort of rama place up here so we'll stick it against the uh the stairs up there. Now I do want to quickly say, I can't take any credit for this banner, I did find it on Planet Minecraft. I'm unsure of the user though sadly, so I'll have to sort of drop a link if I can find one and put it in the description. But a big shout out to that user, because this is insane, very very helpful. So thank you very much. Let's get on to the other banner. So to build this banner just here, we must take ourselves a white banner of course, a banner pattern which is going to be called the border indented one, then we need ourselves field masoned, and then we also need a globe one as well. So three banner patterns, which is quite a lot. Put your white banner in the loom, then put your black die just in firstly. Let's get the field mason firstly, which is gonna be this sort of brick look, like so. Place the, um, the banner pack back in the loom. I almost said the loom back in the banner. <laughs> that would've been weird. We would take ourselves the black die out, the banner pattern out as well. Place in our white die. Then we need border indented, which is just going to be, of course, zigzaggy line one once again. Take that out, put it back in, keep the white die in, remove the banner pattern, and get a pale. So pale is the middle line, so the line that goes directly from the middle, you know, right down, like so. Then we get ourselves a normal border, which is just going to be this one. So it borders everything off, making everything look a bit more circular. And then we'll place it back in, and we need the final banner pattern, which is globe, just down here. So it looks like a Minecraft globe, but on the actual banner it looks like a bit of a, a sort of symbol or something. Just like so. So then we have ourselves this banner just here. Looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and place this. I recommend placing it just next to the barrels just here and against the wall of this house. And there we are. That is how to build my Japanese chunk build in Minecraft. Thank you very much for watching this Wheel Assassin guide everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'm just kind of sat here having my dinner now. Um, but um, yeah, if you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like on it, that would be epic. If you are interested in more of these chunk builds coming in the future, this is definitely not a one of a kind. I'm going to be doing loads of these if I can. So um, please consider subscribing and joining us for that sort of series. Uh, also, if you're on social media, so am I. You can find my links in the description below. And um, yeah, it would be awesome to uh, have you come and check out some stuff I've done before. So yeah, until the next time guys, have an excellent rest of your day, stay safe, take the best of care, and um, please let me know what I should call my cat. <laughs> See you later, have an excellent rest of your day.